It's Sunday supper and I made a chunky chili. Maybe just an excuse for me to drink some margaritas. Join me in the kitchen, it's Sunday supper time. So usually on a Sunday, I make a more of elaborate Sunday supper, but because we're having a lazy Sunday today, I wanted to keep it simple and we're eating chili. It's not even football season, but we love chili in this house. And we're just gonna have chili, chips, and guacamole. I know, people out there say that they have the best chili ever, and I'm not gonna compete with that because I have the simplest chili ever. And this is all the ingredients that you're gonna need. Here we have a little bit more than a pound of ground grass-fed beef, a can of kidney beans or red beans, a large can of diced tomatoes, a medium-sized red pepper and a medium-sized green pepper, a large to medium onion, three garlic cloves, chili powder, cilantro, pepper, and salt, and some olive oil. So I have my pot on medium heat. You can also do it on the Instapot, but we're gonna do it in a pot because I'm not sure that everybody has an Instapot. And by the way, roast and brisket and all that good stuff for Sunday supper is perfect to do it in the Instapot because you can leave it there, have it do its thing, go to church, come back, and then you'll have dinner pretty much good to go. So we're gonna drizzle some olive oil in our pot, nice and hot. My pot got a little hot because I was busy talking to you guys, but I just added the onion, and I have a little chef that joined me. I'm gonna start layering some flavor. So for the veggies, I'm gonna do a little bit of a pinch of a salt and some pepper. For chili, I like to flavor it in layers so all the flavors can just start incorporating. And I'm just letting this veggies cook down. I'm also gonna add a couple just sprinkles of the chili powder so the veggies can get nice and seasoned and then I'll add the rest later with chili powder it just depends how much you want it um, I would say it's about like a half a teaspoon but if you want a little bit more or a little bit less it's up to you okay Logan so now it's time for us to add the meat yeah okay, so we're gonna add the meat and now I just have to like crush that meat a little bit. All right, so we added another one. So just a little bit of an ad or maybe a commercial for like a dating. Anybody that's looking for, you know, husbands or spouses for their children for the future. I have three guys that are going to know how to cook. So that's a plus, right? Are you guys gonna cook for your wives? Yes. Yes. Why are you getting on my chair? And they're always arguing. But let's get back to cooking. I don't even know how I get recipes correct and when the food comes out because it's always a little bit of a party in the kitchen. So we're gonna add some of the salt on top of that meat. Get a table, please. And add pepper. Don't touch the salt. Chili powder. And then we're gonna mash it in there with the veggies. While the meat and the veggies are doing its thing in the pot, I'm gonna start cutting up a little bit of the cilantro. And this is just a, on top towards the end of the cooking process. Wait. So for cilantro, guys, all you do is you kind of like wanna shave it off a little bit. You shave it off, <laughs> like daddy shaves, yeah. 
There's a couple of stems here. We're gonna remove that. You guys wanna remove, make sure that there's no stems, okay? Okay. So look, only the leaves. Can you take off all the leaves and put them in the, the board? I wanna taste them. Can I taste them? Yeah, you can taste it. What do you guys think? What do you think it tastes like? Um, can it taste like pepper? Like pepper? Mm. It tastes like um, salad. Tastes like salad? You know that some people say that cilantro tastes like soap? Not to me. I like cilantro, but some people say it tastes like soap. So if you are one of those people that cilantro tastes like soap, then don't use it. You can also use parsley with it. I like parsley sometimes to substitute for cilantro. Look how many stems! How many it's really hard to figure out how much cilantro you're gonna need. So if you have about a handful, a palm of it, that's how much you're gonna put in your chili. So you see here, there's still liquid in the meat, so it's not quite ready. Once this meat, uh, water evaporates, that's when you're gonna add your canned diced tomatoes to it, and, it's, and it'll be ready for the next process of cooking. I forgot one thing while I was sharing the ingredients in the beginning. Forgot to add tomato paste. I freeze my tomato paste in baggies and section them off. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that because I want it to get a little thicker. I'm so glad I remembered the tomato paste. This recipe almost did not make it. Time to add the diced tomato. A large can and that's why I add the tomato paste because I add it with the water and everything with the juices so that way the tomato paste kind of thickens those juices from the tomato in the, the crushed tomatoes in a can I just want to mention that this is not a soupy chili it's a chunky thick chili and it's perfect for like tortilla chips which is why why we want it chunky and not so watery so that's why it's only one can. If I was if I was gonna make like a bowl of chili that was for like a crowd or something like that, I would have made it. I would have added some tomato sauce to it. Before I add the beans, I want to taste to make sure that all the flavors are well balanced. Hmm. It might need a little bit of more salt. Another ingredient that you can add is a jalapeno. I did not add it to this pot because my boys are gonna eat it and we're having a really spicy guacamole. So I just kept it super mild. Time to add the beans. Now to put the lid on and leave it there for a little while. And then we're gonna be ready for dinner. Okay, so this recipe is getting more and more interesting. I had my husband taste it a little bit and he said that it needed a little sugar, brown sugar. When I make it that's more soupier, I always do add brown sugar, but I didn't for this one because it was like a chunkier. But the husband said it needs sugar. So we're gonna add some brown sugar. Not much. Just a spoonful. It gives it a sweet taste and it balances out the acidity of the tomatoes. This chili is ready to be served, so I'm gonna add the cilantro. Nothing better on a lazy Sunday than this chunky chili with a bowl of chips, Don't cheese, me. and guacamole. I hope this video has inspired you to have your own Sunday supper. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. And let me know what's your favorite chili recipe. Happy Sunday!